Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're talking about how we can make use of browser use to run in parallel with multiple different agents and multiple different scenarios and even with multiple different models. That is what exactly we are going to be seeing in this particular video. If you remember in our last video, we were discussing about how we can make use of the browser use to just use one single model and also running with the power of the uh, Google's Gemini model. And we saw how powerful it was to run the test so quickly for us. But in this video, we're going to see a level further to extend the same test to run with multiple different uh, agents and model. The reason why I'm creating this video is that there are so many questions asking um, in the community that how we can leverage the power of these agents to run the tests in parallel if there are multiple different scenarios that needs to be executed. And we can achieve that not using browser use to be honest, but we can leverage the power of the Python to make this happen. So in order to do that, we are gonna have uh, these prompts. Probably I'm just gonna use the same prompt like two times. I'm gonna say, uh, prompt one here and this is going to be prompt two here uh, and uh, we're going to just modify this code a bit and we'll see how we can extend it from there so in order to do that we're going to just modify the name of this particular uh, method uh, as maybe like a run agent uh, and i'm going to say the prompt here i'm just going to get the prompt as an input this time and i'm going to uh, pass the prompt over here uh, and the model, probably even the model, we can extend it with different models. So let's say I'm going to change the model that I'm going to be passing in as a parameter here. And then we can just replace uh, the hard-coded model to the model that we want to execute. What I'm going to do uh, to call this particular run agent method is we're going to create one more uh, method over here. So I'm just going to say uh, async def of main and I'm going to call the uh, the execution of this run agent method for two times that is what we have to do like we have to run all these agents in parallel so the way we can achieve that is by using this async io uh, dot and there is something called as a gather method so this gather method can actually help us run two uh, methods uh, in parallel so we can execute them all together in parallel uh, and also the good thing is it will also wait for the entire test execution to complete until the execution is fully done so that is also going to be taken care by this gather method for us automatically so for instance you're going to be running this uh, this particular agent and if this agent failed before the second agent is running in parallel then the whole entire method will be uh, failing so that's the reason why we need to handle those situation as well but by default if there is no exception happens then the gather method will wait until the the both the methods in this particular gather method is completely done so the wait for all the method is taken care by default using this gather method so that is a great news but we still have to handle the exceptions scenarios over here well as it said uh, i'm gonna say run agent over here uh, and i'm gonna pass the prompt one which is the first prompt and then we need to pass the model so the model i'm just going to go back to the uh, browser where we have this um, this ai studio sorry uh, the pricings of the model probably and over here we have all the models uh, listed over here so i'm going to use probably this particular uh, model uh, which is free of charge for this first prompt and then I'm gonna use another uh, agent over here. I'm gonna pass the prompt to, and this time probably I'm gonna use uh, Gemini uh, flash model. So the Gemini flash model is something that we have used even in my earlier videos. I'm gonna go and copy paste that over here. So that's two models that I want to paste in. And the other thing that I want to also mention in here in the code is to handle uh, if there happens any exceptions just don't fail for that reason so that i can actually do using uh, a bit more change in the code so basically i'm just gonna say uh, gather and instead of this async uh, gather over here i'm just going to say tasks something like this maybe this is like an array that i, that I want to pass in and I can call the tasks over here, like executing all the tasks uh, at the same time. So I'm going to put an await here. And I'm also going to say, uh, so if you just type like return exceptions as uh, false, something like this, uh, it is going to wait. Uh, even if there is an exception, it's just going to handle that situation over there. That is what it is going to be mentioned over here. 
and you see that uh, everything is being executed for me using this particular method and once we have this we could able to run the tests in parallel this time so we'll see how that can be achieved but before that i'm going to call the async um, IO and then the run method for the main method that we have created over here let me now turn on the code compilation so that it will be shown for me this time pretty cool so now that everything is done so we have got two prompts and these two prompts are going to be executed using this run agent for me over here you see that this is the model that i'm going to pass in and the agent is going to be running which is the browser use agent is going to run and we have got uh, two tasks in an array so you can have multiple tasks if you really wanted to you can have like three tasks or, or like three agents or four agents or five agents it depends upon how that you want to pass in and then we're going to use the uh, async io uh, gather method to run all of these tasks something like this and we're going to wait um, we're going to just say even if there is an exception keep executing it don't just fail or give up during that execution that's what this particular flag is and then we can run the code over here and now we're just going to run the python uh, and the first browser use test dot uh, pi dot enter and there is an exception it says stars oh sorry because it's a uh, wrong mapping there it should be just one asterisk not two of them sorry about that uh, and now if i run the same code it should hopefully run there we go so we have got two browsers being launched here and there is one more browser here so they are now running in two different models at the same time in parallel and also they are trying to run like at, this, at the moment they're just running one single scenario but again because we are using two different models maybe the scenario is different see that the first model is just going to list the users and it is trying to create one and it has got failure there and it's just doing something uh, what this particular model is not doing for me over here see this this model is doing something a bit different from the other model so two models are doing or behaving things entirely differently so the one model has just given up already but look at that even though there is this uh, execution is fully done the second test is still running because um, we have told or we have handled that situation over here that even if the first execution is complete don't just fully fail just wait for the entire test execution to fully complete so that's the reason why this is still waiting and the execution is still going on there and you can see that it is still doing what it's supposed to uh, so just waiting for the execution to complete there you go look at that it's now trying to create a new user it's, not, it's trying to register a new user here um, instead of creating a new user from the employee page uh, look at that it has created it and it's feeling happy about it and then it is going to probably close the session and i think the test execution is done and success over here so now you can see that we are trying to execute like two different prompts same time which is running in parallel and doing the same operation uh, without any problem with two different models and now if you want to take this further we can also uh, change the prompt in here so i'm going to say go to uh, google website or uh, something like this go to google and google.com we just say go to google and uh, search for execute automation uh, github page uh, try to navigate to the github uh, page and uh, check how many repo repositories are there right so that's what i'm going to ask in the second prompt this time and i'm going to run this execution we'll see what is really going to happen this is something which i have I mean, tried before so i'm gonna do that look at that so now the first execution is just doing uh, uh the github uh, page search there in the google and see it has went there now it's getting the details of the repositories the second test is doing the ea app test for me there and it is doing it see that it has found 94 repositories uh which is amazing so the first test was very fast and the second test is keep doing what it is supposed to by by going through the uh the employee list and things so it is trying to create an employee list uh like employees and then performing the operation so that is going to be taken care of from the second test which has been executed and i think hopefully yeah it's going to complete that as well so this is the power of how we can run or 
to two test executions same times in parallel with multiple different uh, models uh, and also multiple different scenarios which will extend the usage of or the power of the browser use to go a level further and the way that we can customize the code pretty much like how we do with selenium grid to run the test in parallel or parallel execution with playwright something like that the same things we can achieve using the browser use as well so hope you really like the way that we can extend our code and this is how we actually do it once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next one